Seth's back for his brute force. Of course, he had to turn his back to us. But before he takes it, Seth, you have decided to sell it, haven't you? I think so. He thinks so. I don't know why he doesn't want his face on camera. It's just... A... <laughs> <laughs> so before he sells it, because he has the 550 Grizzly, he just likes a lot better, huh? Doesn't power, have... Power steering, nicer ride, better ground clearance. Just doesn't have the power, but we can get the power up there a little bit on yeah. that. But anyway, before he gets rid of it, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a high speed run, zero to 30 run. I got the draggy. Let Seth take it around the short course so we can get some short course time for it. And I don't know. We'll, we'll see what else happens because Dan's here. We got the sportsman. We got a grizzly too. So who knows? What are you going to do first, Seth? Bring it, whatever you want to do. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah, uh, do a couple practice runs around the short course. We'll get a short course time, and then your belt will be all nice and warm up for like doing zero to 30 and stuff. How's that sound? Sounds good. Perfect. I'll start the timer when he starts. I'm ready when you are. Okay, 31, can you guys see it? I don't know if you can, 31.65, not a bad time. All right, Seth's going to give her another round two attempts. There he goes, into the wild blue yonder, hopping wheelies as he flies by. Here he comes around the S turn. Try not to flip her on her side. Ooh, she doesn't like the quarter. Ready? 31.40. All right. So, do you remember what your time was the first time? 31, I think. 31.36? I don't know, that felt worse. It was 31.4, yeah. so I think it was just a touch slower. You two wheel drive or four wheel drive? Two. I don't think four wheel drive would help you any. Mm -hmm. It just tips. I think it's just. I think that solid rear axle was terrible. Yeah. Because instead of having some give, as soon as it catches, it just, it just it wants it to flip throws bad. the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that might, that'd be really good, I think, if it was on like a real dry track where it was just like dust, where mm -hmm. it would kick out. If it would kick out, it'd be fine, but it. This field grass kicking. where it catches, it wants to throw you. That was just scary. Bam on the sports, man. Well, now let's warm up. Let's hook you up with a draggy and we'll get some zero to 30 times out of the beast. Okie dokie. Oh, listen to that. Rumble. quick it seemed Look how easy it was. It just wants to tip. Better. we can get your grizzly to want to do that all right let's see the pro a what that was kind of lame what the leap yeah i was really expecting like wheel spin and no it takes a little bit for that gauge the belt to engage pretty slow. Why is it not showing me? I bet you the grizzly's faster out of the hole than that thing. Well here's the thing. His zero to 30. 2.82 seconds. 
which that's one of the faster ones we've had. Yeah, 2.82. I know when I raced like your 850 the other day, I mean, it kept up it with kept it up. pretty good actually. Even me having to let off because I popped a wheelie yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> but, yeah, when you popped that wheelie, it, it got us even. And then after that, you just were barely walking uh -huh. from me. You want to do a couple more? Sure. That is a good sounding machine. Good yeah, V-twins are sweet. 1.8. No, yeah, you wish. <laughs> All right, no, actually, you got better. Your second run was the best at 2.73 seconds. And the last one was 2.75 seconds. So those are all cool. pretty consistent, actually. Well done, Seth. Well done. We might as well do I, I just pushed the throttle. So. We might as well. We got the draggy. I know it's not planned in this video, but we might as well do the uh, sportsmen and the grizzly while they're here. Yeah. Yep. Zero We're 30 here. times. Might as well get it now. Yep. Before sure. anything happens to the sportsman. Yeah, since she's smoking pretty good. Yeah. Get on. Hello, GoPro. Hello. Oh, you're on. You're on. on. That's the best you've done in a while. We'll see if the old sportsman can beat the brute force in three, two, one. Grizzly 550. This is a 2010 Yamaha Grizzly 550. Bone stock, just under a thousand miles. I think I saw he had 996. I'm thinking somewhere around in there. Bet you it's spinning the rear wheels better than the Sportsman did. think it is. Like it's, it's, it's the, the start is not as poppy as these bigger engine no. ones. And, it, and it, the sound makes it feel slower too. 
All right, Seth, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, well, you know, zero to 30, your first one, <laughs> 3.27, 3.22, <laughs> and then a 3.36. So, the last one was two wheel drive. Yeah, so, so I mean, I guess it is pretty much a full second slower than the other two. But I mean, it's a lot smaller. You're talking about a 550 single compared to a 650 V twin and an 850 twin so yeah these are all three of these are not on the same level so we know how fast the brute force goes how long does it take to stop uh, i've only ridden this a few let's times. find out so what we're going to do is have you start up there get roughly 30 miles an hour and hold it and we'll mark something down here that once you get there just jam on the brakes and then we'll measure how soon or what the distance is before you come to a complete stop Sounds good. So once you stop, just stay there and we'll measure to your front wheels. Okay, okay. Okay, so the plan is to have Seth get about 30 miles an hour and he gets to the stick, he's gonna just slam on the brakes. Okay, we'll go to his front. Dan, take the camera. I was at 32. That's close enough, as long as it's 30-ish. Okay, from the stick to your front tire, in a straight line. You went crooked, so I gotta go roughly to the farthest. About right there, Dan. Yep. We're gonna say 36 and a half feet. So now we have a benchmark. Nope, that was a nope. Anyway. <laughs> we got our benchmark now, all reviews machines we do in the future we're going to have a 30 to zero brake test so that's the benchmark 36 and a half feet for the brute force 650. oh last time i did oh it, I, like a fan. I got it on video what a scaredy cat <laughs> it's not fun throwing your cooler on the ground technically it's already on the ground just be throwing you on the ground because you can't handle the 650. That though, you were just making them one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Slam into the grizzly. Woo. That was. I'm not as good at wheelies as you guys are. Yeah, that was weak. Weak. Watching, I was just watching the near collision up there. That's all. I got so sidetracked by that, I was trying to find the zoom out button. I was like, uh oh, uh oh. That was close. I think you did get a jump on me at the start, and then I got just, I think, a touch ahead of him. Oh, yeah. Him at the end, I think he was like a half a tire length ahead of me. I was so focused on trying to find the <laughs> zoom, I couldn't figure out who passed yeah, the line. That so. Was close. That was close. So there may be some merit on the brute force guys saying they'll outrun the, the 850 Sportsman. Cause that was- And they're about the close. same same error, so pretty close. Yeah. What year is this? 2013, 12, 13. This okay. is an eight. Yeah, so we're pretty close. Mm -hmm. One more for the books. Yeah, we'll switch lanes and go again. <laughs> I don't know, we'll start a little farther apart.
can't see it, but that thing is really smoking. I think that was probably me the first time that was scooting and hitting you. Yeah, that's rewatch it. Because that time was more like I'd expect. It was, yeah. wasn't ahead of you by what, more than a length? I was no, it crawls. Length. It crawls away from me too. Because even that first race, I got the jump, but then you just, I, we just stayed there basically. All right, Seth going for a high speed run. Hopefully, the GoPro will capture how fast he's going. Oh, forgive me. Oh yeah, this thing is really fun with them. That's what. That's it. It sounded like you pegged it, like right where he's at right now. It sounded like where it's where it hit it. That's a big bump though back there. Did you see it? Yeah, the road. The trail that goes up. The road over yeah. There. I, you could clearly see it on the camera from here. Like it was good. So is she able to see 55, I think? Listen, from this angle, I can see how much air he got off that hump back here. It was it was pretty good. That's kind of sketchy, to be honest, though. Because it's a whole, Yeah. I hit that in this bucket. Alright, that's just what I said. <coughs> This AB. Well, we have confirmed as Seth turns away from the camera, Mr. Camera Shy, that uh, he hit about 56 miles an hour top speed, which I thought was going to be faster than that. I did too. But because when I was heading over to film, the 550 Grizzly hit, 50, what did I say, 54? 55? Somewhere yeah, I don't know. There. You were driving. So that's probably more just a limiter built in than it is the actual. Is this the first speed. thing you've tested right there as far as? Top yeah, speed. that's the first top speed we've well, done. You should probably test other machines to see if it, you know if it's. We should thing. because I hit. Because you did that on a road. That's yeah, I the sportsman different. hit seventy three, seventy four ish yeah, on still, a flat dirt road. Dirt road, not main road. Well, it was. Well, it road. was a back. It was trail actually a on... strippings cut road. <laughs> yeah, we got video yeah. proof. It was a strippings cut road. It was a so. trail on private property which we had written permission yeah. for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But with it, license. Yeah. <laughs> Registration and we, we we had DEP permission. Police escorts to make sure to block off the road. Yep. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was also filmed in Mexico. It was in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. So, so. Perfect. <laughs> so there's all the performance tests of the brute force we typically do. So that's probably the last you'll see of it. Seth's gonna clean her up. Now that I've got it all dirty, he's gonna clean it. <laughs> oh, it makes it so bad. And uh, probably put her on the old Facebook Marketplace, Seth. Is that the plan? I think so. He just likes the uh, Grizzlies much better. Of course, with power steering and a nicer ride. I mean, that's basically the only reason. But the nice thing is, he's gonna leave that here for me. So in the next video or two, you'll be, I'll be doing my reviews of the 550 Grizzly. Back to my roots, because my first four wheeler was a 660 Grizzly. But I mean, that 550 is nicer than the old 660s were. So. Say goodbye to the brute force. Still a nice machine. I was, I was impressed with it. I think it's a nice machine, just not as nice as your Grizzly, huh? It's just the power steering and the ride is a bit nicer, just because it has independent yeah. rear suspension. So basically, you don't have need of two four wheelers. And if you had to pick between if, the two, you're actually, the if I had to pick one for riding, I'd probably pick the brute, the brute, just because it's more fun. But the Grizzly. Since I usually I mostly want a four wheeler for hunting, the all around, a little yeah. bit better for that. Yeah.
Oh. So that, honestly, I would probably pick the brute just because it's more fun for riding, but I'm trying to get something more for hunting. So. If the brute had power steering right now, I might get I'd probably stick with it <laughs> power steering is very nice so yep. so I hope you enjoyed today's shenanigans I enjoyed it just a quick little video some performance for you guys so thanks for watching until next time God bless and keep on riding oh I wish yeah. keep on riding please he wasn't even looking at you and I was just sitting back here watching it all unfold anyway see you later <laughs> see you later Brian like that see you later <laughs>